Welcome back to The Wrap. Now, before we get started again, I do want to remind you that Newsmax wants to send one lucky couple on a seven-day Silver Sea cruise to the Caribbean this winter, and it could be you. Obviously, a luxury cruise on the Silver Wind is the trip of a lifetime, but to win, you'll need to enter our sweepstakes, which you can do by visiting Newsmax.com slash sweepstakes. Again, to enter, it's Newsmax.com slash sweepstakes. All right, guys, now that I uh, send people to Newsweek instead of Newsmax to win a cruise, let them pay for it, right? Let them pay for it. Eh, We'll pay for it. Okay, so guys. As the 2016 election is getting closer and closer and yet still miles away, we can expect to see about 500 or more new polls that will take place between now and Election Day next year. And as luck would have it, today we have yet a new one addressing the ever-expanding Republican field of candidates. Go figure. What's more, the latest NBC Wall Street poll says that there's some new news that's going to make Jeb Bush feel pretty darn good, I think. Take a look at this. Governor Bush now crushing the field at 22%, leading Scott Walker by a full five points. Interesting what a well-staged presidential announcement could do for a candidate. Pulling up third place is Florida Senator Marco Rubio with 14% and Dr. Ben Carson hanging it there in fourth with 11%. The rest of the field behind by double digits. Some notable names, though. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, only 4%. Carly Fiorino, 2%. And of course, the Donald is all the way down at the bottom with just 1%. Should we even be talking about this, guys? Is it too early or are we really seeing some movement here that makes a difference? What do you think? Jeb Bush suddenly at the top. Well, I think that you're going to see these fluctuations. And first of all, there was an article today about how poor polling is right now, the fact that it isn't really indicative of anything. Jeb Bush, I think a lot of his has to do with not only his announcement, but the Jimmy Fallon appearance. I think that he did such a great job at Jimmy Fallon. I think that he was himself. So you think slow jamming the news good for a few points in the polls? Yeah, I do. I think that anything that can make people actually know who these people are and not just, an, especially with him, not mm-hmm. just another Bush is going to be helpful to him. Anything that makes him more personal is going to be a help. Right. Noel, you know, there are some candidates that kind of got off to a great start, people like Rand Paul. And suddenly, they don't seem to be getting the attention they once were. What happened? I'll tell you what happened with Rand Paul, in my opinion. Uh, it was the... Uh, ISIS and all the beefed up conversations with what was going on in the Middle East and foreign policy and wow that is the worst uh, that's the worst subject for Rand Paul to try to attack because a lot of people associate him with his father and they think he's an isolationist and he has said some bizarro things in the past. Do you think it's over? uh, You think Paul's opportunity has passed by? Today, yes, but in 30 days, maybe not. That's why I said, when you look at that, Paul, don't pay any attention to this. We can talk about it today. Sunday, it'll change. The next week, it'll change. This thing is just every, it's what keeps pundits in business. This will keep changing and changing and changing, and who's at the top today may be on the bottom tomorrow. So, Bill, do you think, uh, well, actually, I'll tell you, let me ask you this, because I'm very curious about it. I've said it on the show before. I think the best campaign I've seen run this entire political season so far was by Carly Fiorino. I think she's done a great job. And yet, nothing. Two points. I defer to Nicole, Nicole on this. I like, or Noel. I, I, I caught the Rick disease. See, I caught, yeah, I right. caught the Rick disease. <laughs> Noel, I refer. I, I, it, like, it's, it's way catchy. too early. It's catchy. And by Sunday, this poll could change right. yet again. These, these, this is why normal American people find this stuff really boring. Yeah, they, don't, they don't pay attention to this right, Well, stuff. we're going to bore them some more because there was another part to this poll that I think bears some discussion. When asked the question, which GOP candidate could you see yourself supporting? You go down this list and you see it's very clear. People like Trump, Graham, Pataki, Paul, Santorum. These guys have major work to do because their negatives are just pretty close to out of control. What happened to Senator Rand? We talked about that earlier, but I, you know, I, I think Noel might be right. It might be the foreign policy thing, but he had been a really important player, and you don't even hear his name He's anymore. He's not even in the news anymore. He's not, unless it's anything. in a negative context. You don't hear anything about him. Who are you hearing in the news? The ones that you kind of, There's so many running in the Republican field. The, the ones that they are getting a little blips, you're hearing about Bush all the time. You're hearing about Rubio. You're hearing about Walker. As soon as you don't hear about him anymore, you kind of forget about him, and therefore you're looking at the list. You're like, oh, yeah, I forgot he was running. Yeah. So during the break, we found out that uh, Trump 
has actually filed his papers. And, and I guess Karl Rove's going to have to respond to that because he was the one, I think just yesterday, was saying, don't take Trump seriously until he files the papers. Right. Well, apparently he did. Will that have an impact? Do you think that a lot of people out there just refuse to take him seriously and now maybe they will? No. I don't no. think anybody will take him any <laughs> no. more seriously than they already it's were. Not gonna I, happen. I just think that, and, and I think that the more that he speaks, the less seriously people are taking him. You know, he will he will hit some good points in some of his speeches. He will hit some good points in some of the things he discusses, and then he says something crazy, and everything that he does gets taken away. It's it's I uh, yeah. I mean, the whole thing's crazy, but we'll see. So coming up next, another apology from yet another television host. We'll tell you who did what this time. But only if you stay tuned and don't touch your dial. Stay here right near Newsmax TV.